Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? How are you? I'm okay. What about you? How do you feel today? What about your weekend? How was it? Um, very happy. <laughs> it was very happy. Okay. It was yes. good. Awesome. And what did you do? Did you go out? Um, hey, it, it, no, and at home. Okay. You stay at home? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's cool then, that's cool. Okay, so we also have Abigail and we have a Luis Miguel. Okay, so how about your weekend, Abigail? How was it? It was very tired. It was tiring? Yes. Okay, but you didn't rest? I mean, yesterday? Mm yes, but I... I had my sister, no, sister-in-law. Uh -huh, sister uh -huh, sister in law Sister-in-law? Uh-huh, sister-in-law. Oh, really? You help her? Yes. Okay. Uh, make pupusas. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm, delicious. Okay, very good. Excellent. All right, so good evening, Maurice. Good evening, Pablo. And we also have Tony that is connecting right now. Okay, guys. Well, welcome to um, our week number four. Yes. Um, in this case, guys, we are going to start with today's agenda. So for today's agenda, we have unit four, and we are going to keep working on this unit. We are going to talk about risk and hazards in the business operations. Yeah, that is going to be the main topic for today. And of course, we also have a, a grammar topic, which is, um, I would say, something extra. Okay. So we are going to start, guys, and we are going to start with the warm up. And we are going to start with the miming game. Okay. So um, we are going to have two volunteers that they are going to do miming, yes? So you are going to do mimics, yes? Who is the mimer here? I don't know. Do I have some volunteers or do I need to choose? I Me mean, teacher. okay, thank you, Carlos. So you are the first one. I'm going to give you the verbs that you need to describe, but just with mimics, just miming, Yes. Uh, okay. Go first. Uh, another volunteer. Mm, okay. Sh should I uh, choose somebody? Now? Okay. Let me see. Let me see the ones that are here. Okay. So, Carlos Omar, you are the first one, and Roberto Esaú. Yes. So I'm going to send guys the verb that you are going to describe just with mimics, right? Just doing mime. Uh, Carlos, those are yours. And Roberto, those are yours. Okay, then the other ones are going to just look at their camera and we're going to guess the verb. Those are verbs only. Yeah, those are verbs only. Okay, Carlos Omar, ready? Um, you will have two minutes, okay? Okay. One, uh, two, three, go. One. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can you see me? <laughs> yes, we see you, yes. Okay. Hmm. Okay, be more specific. Mm. Okay, Juan. Okay, Tony. Mm -mm. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, next, next, next. Move. Next, okay. No. no. Guys, we need to guess. Those are birds. Birds. Uh -huh. Another, Carlos. Uh, another, okay. Kind of difficult. <laughs> um, it's 
location? No. <laughs> uh, you know, we can barely see you. We cannot Money. see your hands. Money. No. Money, no. <laughs> mm -mm. In this. <laughs> Next, move. Next. Um... Mm. No. Glass? Yes. <laughs> Okay, yes. yes. Wash. Um, room? Room? Mm, yes, run. Yes. Yes. Wash and run. Um, mm -hmm. No. It's a verb. Verb. Right. No. Right. No. Right. Yes. 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 And the last one. The last one. Um, yes. Think. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Good. Four. Four. Okay. Roberto, it's your turn. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, here we go. One, two, three, go. Okay, uh, the first one is like red. No, no, what? No, find no, draw. No. Oh, another. Mm -hmm. Another one. Next. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, let me see. I have some. Some. Mm hmm. Clean. Clean. Yeah. Clean. Yes. One. Uh, okay. that. Smile. Yes. Very good. Um. Uh, uh, Slap. No. Dance. No, <laughs> no Nelly. Applause. <laughs> no, Carlos. A synonym. Cooking. No. Similar, similar. Very good. <laughs> no. <laughs> Flamenco. <laughs> no. Flamenco. No, Flamenco. no, guys. Okay, okay. next, next. Uh, the next is is, is difficult, but yes. Like uh, yes. Win. Win. Yes. Win. Yes. 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 Next. Uh, woo. Yes. Celebrate. Similar. Yes. Yes. Celebrate. 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 And, Next and another uh, drink. 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 drink drink and the last one. Uh, the last. Uh, yes, you know what? The last one is is in comparative the, the word. I don't know. Yes, but uh, mm, is this one? Uh, oh, okay. Okay. It. Yes. It. All right. Which was this one? <laughs> Which is which is this action guy? What is clap. that action? Clap. Clap. Ah, clap. I, yes. y yo dije, y yo dije slap. <laughs> slap. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, but okay. Very good. Just for today, Raul. Sorry, Roberto. Okay, Roberto, you are the winner. Okay. okay. Yes. Excellent. Thanks. Very good. All right, guys. So let's move and we are going to start with the following. Okay. So do you remember that um, in the last class, we covered different information about those type of uh, hazards or risks at the workplace? 
and that we worked on teams. Yeah, I think that you do remember. So right now, what we need to do according to our um, lesson plan, what we need to do is that we are going to move to this. And we need to work not in the same teams. Yeah, we are going to work with different uh, classmates today, but we need to create this type of, you know, poster, yes? And what uh, do we need to actually add in the poster? Okay, so group work. Yes, we need to choose one of the most critical hazards identified in the previous lesson, according to what you have discussed. Then uh, brainstorm ideas on how to prevent accidents related to that particular hazard. And you need to design a poster featuring three safety measures like this, like this, a poster. For example, attention, you can use PowerPoint or any other type of platform that you may know. So attention, new safety measures to prevent, and you add what you are going to prevent with that poster, uh, to prevent falls, uh, slips, and trips. Yes, remember two, number one, two, and three. Can you please help us reading the information in the poster, Roberto? Yeah. Can you please read one, two, and three? Okay. Uh, first, store all tools in proper location when not used. Keep all tools clean and in a good working conditions. We're all safety gear while you are in this area 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 where okay where so we are going to work in pairs okay in pairs just two two of you right in pairs so do you have any question before we go no okay no. Okay, let's move then. I'll give you around five to seven, eight minutes so you can design everything, okay? And I will say 10, the maximum, okay? So let's move. Um, I think that we cannot hear you, Luis, but I think that you cannot join the, the breaker. Mm, barely, barely. It seems like you are really far away. Hello, hello. Yes, now much better. Sorry, teacher, I used to drive in. Uh, okay, don't worry, it's okay. If you cannot, yeah, stay here in the main room. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Okay. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How are you, teacher? I'm okay. <laughs> what about you? Ya reviví, teacher. <laughs> okay, you're alive. Yes. <laughs> okay. Lo siento. Lo quiero disculparme, teacher, porque estaba bien mal en la gripe. Ah, okay. Vaya, pero ya está mejor. Un poquito. Ya hoy sí puedo hablar un poquito. Vaya, ok. Entonces, eh, la voy a mover a un salón para que eh, ellos están trabajando en un póster, ok? So, they are making a póster. Um, so, you can share your ideas, ok? Yes. All right, let me Thank see. You. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Ok, let me see. Raúl, are you here? Yes, but I'm still driving, teacher. Okay, Raúl. Um, okay, okay. So, Raúl, let me see. Um, let me see, Vladimir. 
Okay. Avila y el bonilla. Marian Scarlett, are you here? Can they see? Guys, you need to design a poster, okay? So let me ask you, who can share your screen? PPT. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. You need to design a poster, okay? As the example. Uh -huh. Tienes que crear un poster, así un, como un poster. Yes? Okay. Yes, you yes. can use PowerPoint. Yeah. Okay. PowerPoint. Okay. 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 Right now, we have some of the hazards. Roberto, were you with with Nelly? Uh, Nelly, I I couldn't hear hear her because the the, the microphone is is broke. Uh, but uh. she she lived, but she she told me that she she was going to to come back. Yes. Okay. Let me let me move you. Okay. Okay. Do you have any question, guys? Mm, no, really, teacher. Okay. 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 It's okay. Uh, I'm going to. Let me see. Let's see. You see, Nelly, yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, we have to, to, to choose a one card t-shirt and after we have to to make a, a poster, right? Yes, you need to choose a hazard or a risk from the ones that we covered last class. Do you remember? The last okay. yeah, the last time we 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 were the team team number two. I think that you talk about electricity, right? Something related to I, that. I, yes. Sorry, I, I was in the in the last class teacher. Right? Yeah. So, uh huh. In this case, uh, Nelly, you, you know, right? So, guide yes. uh, Roberto. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, have, um, but... I, I don't know if you want to uh, share the screen, Nelly. Uh, Thank 
Okay. Um, um, PowerPoint or what? You have to choose one different, the same. This for dangerous. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. Thank you. Okay, attention. Okay, and Syria to prevent folks to prevent um, fire hazards. Or to oh. yes, uh, virus, virus, uh, to prevent fires to prevent virus, a uh, short uh, circuits and short circuit, short, let me see, short is like a uh, short <laughs> S H O uh, yes with T T ah uh, yes yes circuit and you see what else In accidents, I don't know. The first one it can be uh, something like uh, make sure you have a, a good electrical system. Electrical. Yes, make sure you have a good electrical system. Make sure. Uh, make sure. Uh -huh. No, uh, let me see, uh, make. Oh, Make okay. sure. Uh, yes. 
make sure. Make sure, sure, sure. Come on, let's take it. Super. Yes, yes, yes. Make sure. May secure it. Oh, yes. May secure. Let me see. I'm gonna write down the, the chat. Make sure. Make sure. How do you say eh, cada cierto tiempo? Mm, I'm not sure. Let me get it. Okay. Yeah. Cada cierto tiempo. Cada cierto tiempo. El, eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué haría cada cierto tiempo? Check uh, all connections. Okay, you can say every so often. Mm, sí, ese sería para el contexto. Every so often. Check. Uh, connections. Check all connections. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, it, it will be better check all connections every so often. Así como lo había puesto now. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. And I think that connections will go with double N. The, uh, yeah, connections. Yes. Okay, uh, Jonathan. Yes, okay. Miss. Yes, I'm really? here. yeah, perfect. Okay, all right. So the um did the last link work or? What was happening? I mean, I don't know why you were not able to to enter. Verify they correctly. Okay, perfect.
Are you ready? No. No yet. No. Now. Okay. Okay. In my company, in my company, for example, one rule is not keep the Luis, sí. Yes. Where you think, teacher? Is done or you need something more? No, it's done, I think. Okay, just choose who is the one that is going to present, okay? Okay. Yes. When you use, when... For example, uh, is clean the play? Evacuation routes. Evacuation routes. Route. Route. R O U. No. R O U. O U T E S. Yes. Won't. Emergency case. Keep in calm. Don't run. Keep the calm. Yeah. Oh, yes. Keep the calm. Roberto, can you all the use the fire extinguishers? Okay. I think. Yes. The fire. Sorry. Ah, uh, yes, yes. yes. Yes, the use yes. The, the fire extinguisher. Ah, yes, yes. Extinguishers. Yeah. Oh, they use spell. It's it's stinger. Fire stinger. Stinger is. Uh, in this one, I don't know if you uh, make uh, in general, for example. Yes, the use of uh, fire extinguishers. Oh. Extinguishers. Okay. Um, and uh disconnect electrical appliance um in not use is is correct appliances were not using uh -huh. appliances with double p and one l appliances uh-huh Okay. Um, another observation, verify the correctly installation double L. Uh, installation. Okay. okay, in good condition, the letter G can go lowercase. Yeah. Disconnect, uh, you know, it is C before T. Uh -huh. um, yes. And yes. Okay, perfect. I think that you're done or are you going to add like an image or something? Yes. Okay, perfect.
Okay, so are you done? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay. Um, all right, let me follow the safety rules. Okay, not, it goes together, it cannot together. Cannot. Oh, cannot. Uh huh. Keep the space center free. Okay. Follow the evacuation routes in emergency case. In emergency cases. With S. With S. Uh huh. Cases plural. Keep keep calm. Keep calm without the. T-H-E, remove it. Yes. Um, yes, keep calm. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, all right, so let's go then to the main room. Okay, let's go. Just choose who is going to present, okay? Decide who is going to present. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, guys, so let's see. Let's start with the presentations and we would like to see your posters, yeah? Um, so the first team, let me see, Emerson and George. Okay, Emerson, can you share the presentation, please? Yeah, I'm going. One by one. <laughs> okay, teacher, we choose the office hazard and yeah. we type the new safety rules. The first one is follow the safety rules. Mm -hmm. And next one, uh, store objects in appropriate places. And a first aid kit. Mm -hmm. Respect risk areas marked with the yellow line. Cannot obstruct emergency emergency exit. Mm -hmm. Keep the space of extinctor free. Mm -hmm. Follow the evacuation routes in emergency cases. Keep them calm. In case the floor is wet, be careful. Okay. Office has our new safety. Um, okay. In this case, just the, the spelling of the words, right? Office is with double F, guys. Office, okay. the, the title, yeah. And with one C. Mm -hmm. Very good. And with. Right, I think that you noticed that one with. Yes. Uh -huh. H. Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Very good, guys. Thank you. Thank okay. You. Next team. And let me see. Next team where Tony was. Okay. Yes. Let me show you our presentation. Yes. Um, um, our team is Wendy and Carlos. Okay. Um, um, Carlos and Wendy, and help me please to read. I'm just only going to present presenting the work. Okay. The task. Okay. Okay, go ahead. And the women are first. Yeah, please, Wendy, read. Wendy. 
Wendy, are you there? Um, I think that Wendy Maybe is not. No, no Wendy is okay. not here. Okay, please help me, Carlos. Carlos. Let me see if Carlos is here. No, Carlos is not here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, you are the only one. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> No quería hacerlo, pero está bien, no hay problema. Oh, de los demás. One okay. to Tony. Uh, we choose the cutters and uh -huh. um, what about the correct use? Prevent measure of the correct use of the cutters. Tips for cutting and any type of materials are uh -huh. use gloves protection, number one. Number two, be careful how you use it. Number three, verify if the cutter is in good condition, like in examples. Clean the blade, security okay. cap is okay. Mold and mill, mildew, mil, mildew. Yes. Mildew, mildew free. This uh -huh. is mold, right? Yes. Okay. Keep the correct distance between the object and your body and organize your cutting table desk. Organize your cutting table desk. Okay, that is very good, okay? The preventive measure for the correct use of cutters. Yes, that one is perfect. Thank okay. you, Tony, all right? Okay. Thank you, it was perfect. Yeah, Wendy and Carlos, Wendy, Wendy, Carlos. No, they are not here, okay. Um, Atilio? Pablo and Luis, I think. Yes. Okay. Let me see. Tilo is the graphic guy. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Okay. Dale presentarte lo porque mira pequeño. F5. Yes. yes. Thank you. What so pro? But finish. <laughs> <laughs> It's all yeah. That's all. No. Oh, okay. Come on, guys. <laughs> Present yes. it again. Uh, and this yes. presentation, please. Pablo, va a present that. Make sure to make sure. Present. Eh, Atilio, presentalo porque no se mira. Se mira. Hello. Present it again. I mean, make it dale, bigger. F dale F5. Let me see. Dale a presentar, F5. Let me see. Atilio, yes. donde le dio anteriormente. Donde le Dale a presentar, Atilio. <laughs> le voy a pegar. <laughs> ¿Cómo lo es? Thank you, Easy Luis. Ajá. Uh -huh. Este señor. Yes. Teacher, how do you say relaje las hormonas? <laughs> Dale a presentar. Relax, right? Yes, 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 yes. 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 There, yes. Dale ahí, ¿verdad? Luis, Luis, thank you, easy, man. Apurate. In English. Sorry, Atilín. Yes. What, what is Sorry, something yeah. wrong with you? <laughs> okay. I think that Dale. maybe... Okay. Ahí, ahí, ya no lo toques. Ok, yes. Pablo. Yes. Thank you, easy, man. Okay. Hello? No está Pablo, okay. Yes. If electric assistant are no properly wired to remove dangerous voltage, the person can be subject to electrical electric shock. A Rixa electrical shot more than one disconnected switch may be required to de-energize the equipment before serving. Yes. Ush, use of electrical uh, appliance or equipment should be a uh, boiling in the event of rain or humidity. 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 
humidity when cables or other electrical material cross puddles, feet straight on water or any parts of the of the body is wet. Okay. Always use uh, uh, appropriate equipment is is the reason of this banner. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Mm, okay. Guys, how do you say um no? Um yes, how do we call those type of I mean let's call it glasses in English? How do we call them? We covered that vocabulary last class. How do you say what? Glasses. Those type of glasses. The ones that you have on the picture, we have the helmet, right? And then we have the other guy, which is with glasses. But how do we call those glasses? Mm, I don't know, teacher. I don't be. I was not. I was not in the last last class. Okay. But protects glasses, no? Mm, not exactly. Uh, does somebody remember? Dale para atrás, Tilly. Okay. All right. Does Does somebody remember, guys? How do you call those type of glasses? The guys, the class that we cover on on Friday. Everybody is looking in Google right now. Yes. Google's. Google's. Very good. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Um, all right. Then Nelly and your team. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, I'm going to present uh, my team where Nelly and Jonathan uh, say to prevent electrical fire short circuit and many accidents, remember to make sure electrical systems uh, check all connection every so often. Uh, verify the correctly installation of the system. Use material in good conditions. Uh, disconnect electrical appliance uh, when not using. Use fire extinguisher and fire alarm. And the last one, use protective equipment for do the electrical installations. Okay. Um, use pronunciation equipment. Equipment. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay. Your poster was really nice. Yes, it was very nice. Thank you, guys. Uh, am I missing somebody? Yes, no. No, nobody, I think. Emerson, you already presented. Tony, you already presented. Atilio, you already presented. Okay, so I think that I'm not missing anybody. All right, guys. So let's move and let me just, um, where is it? Okay, um, just for the ones that probably were not here right on Friday's class, we covered this part of the, of the information, right, of vocabulary. So we have this type of, um, I would say, tools that we should use. So those are just the examples, right? But um, the ones that you had on the picture, Luis, Atilio, and, and Pablo, uh, they are type of goggles, yeah. That's how we call those type of glasses, right? We also have the earplugs, the helmet, gloves, reflective vest. You also had that one on the on the uh, on the picture. The protection belt, the rubber boots, the ear protection. How do you call the los conos in English? How do you call those? Security cone or security cone? 
yes, okay. We can call that one like that, okay. Very good, okay, guys, thank you. I'm going to take the attendance, all right? So, Aleida Esmeralda Amaya. Here, teacher. Thank you. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Omar Linares Cañas. Carlos Omar. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez. Carlos Vladimir. No. Present, teacher. Present. Excuse me. Oh, thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Eduardo. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present miss. Thank you. Jonathan Jose González Domínguez. Present miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marian Scarlett Rodriguez. Marian Scarlett. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Yes, thank, thank you, Maurice. Nelly Lilibet Andrade Garcia. Present. Thank you. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Raúl Antonio. Present, present. Thank you. Roberto Esaú Celaya Argumed. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Yes. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present, please. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Wendy. Oh present, God. Oh, yes. Wendy, you up here, Wendy. Wilbert Jonathan. Wilbur? No. Okay. Um, well, okay, guys, let's continue. All right, so now let's work on vocabulary. Guys, uh, let's see. We have different words right there. I want you to infer, okay? What do you think contamination is? What is contamination according to the information that we have right there? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So it will be which one? The last one? Last one, yes. Okay. Waste residues that are uh, handling properties, car to okay. offer areas. To scatter, okay. Other areas and cause the areas to be closed down. What about uh, casualties? No? I don't know, teacher. Okay, let's move to the, the, the other one. Property damage. Maybe it's the number four. I, okay. I think yes. the employee dies in, ex, in an accident operate, operating a machine. That is correct. Okay, yes. Property damage. Maybe machine often break down. That is correct. Very good. What about loss of customer? Customer switch to another provider. Correct. Yes. Uh, financial loss. The company, company lost lost money. Yes. And the last one, business interruption. The production, the production stops. stops. Very good. Okay. And we have different 
terms right here, okay? Very good. So now let's move to the role play, okay? But first guys, what are the effects of risks and hazards on the business operations? What can be some effects, all right? So we have a couple of them, some examples. Tony, help us reading all of them, please. Okay. The number one is financial impact. Mm -hmm. Number two, operational disruptions. Number three, legal and compliance risks. Yes. Number four, reputational damage. Mm -hmm. Number five, employee health and safety risks. Yes. Number six, cybersecurity treats. Mm -hmm. um, treats, treats. Oh, threats. Threats. Threat. Uh, threat. With TH, threats. Threat. Threats. Excellent. Right. And the seventh competitive disadvantage. Disadvantage. Very good. Okay. So those are some guys, some examples, okay, of effects of risk and hazards on the business operation. Yeah. Financial impact, operational disruptions, legal and compliance risks, reputational damage employee health and safety risks yes very common cyber security threats of course competitive disadvantage okay those are some risks or it could be hazards right so then let's move and i need two volunteers one is going to be gladys and the other one is going to be miguel mm -hmm. Thank you. Carla Sofia, Gladys, Me, teacher. and Miguel Jose. Okay, go. Uh, I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competition competitors. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery oh my <laughs> that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company mm -hmm. yeah let alone bad publicity a chain of negative effects might be on their way loss of customers loss of trust in the organization and eventually financial loss uh, totally Answer a live. We're done with the safety measures manual, and now we went to plan its implement implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Okay, let's see. Uh, first of all, let's focus on pronunciation. Okay, so this word, which is manual in spanish manual but in english is manual like manual. with a manual yes okay. this one is going to be recently okay recently and um, this one is sued right which is the meaning of they were sued ellos fueron demandados mm -hmm. That is very. Es demanda. Yes. Uh -huh. O demanda. yes. Demandado. This one is in, in past participle. Yes. And this is, yeah. But past the, the verb is demand. Or, or is that mm. a synonym? It's a synonym. But it's like, I would say, um, suit is technical word for demanda. Uh, please, can you show? The, the verb in present tense, please. Su, es, es only S -E -E. Yes. Correct. Okay, su. Su. It's a, technic, it's, a, it's a technical word in legal. Uh, term. In, in the legal term, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this one is very, very um, used. When, when people in the US, they get angry, they tell you, right? I'm going to sue you. 
Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. um, let me see. Oh, this one. Totally. Okay. Intonation. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Totally. And uh, let me see another one that I heard. Um, that's it. Okay, guys. Just make sure that the intonation, whenever you um pronounce some words, goes uh, along with the uh, with the idea, right? Very good. Okay. Basically, guys, this is related to uh, risks and hazards. Okay, the topic that we were covering last week. Yeah. So now let's move, and we are going to um rank the impacts of risks and hazards at the workplace from the least serious to the most serious okay which one do you think is the least serious risk or hazard we have financial loss loss of trust in the organization, loss of customers, business interruption, property damage, and casualties. Which one is the least serious for you? The least. I think that is the, the, the business interruption. Okay. Least serious. Yes, the least mm -hmm. because it, it, it hazard. Uh, I think that is the the, the least. You can important. restart the the production. Um, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the least. Okay, and then number five. It could be property damage. Yes, could be, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Number four. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I saw it. I saw it. Casualties? No, the casualty is the number. I think that is the in the higher option. Mm -hmm. One of the most serious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, loss of trust in the organization. Mm -hmm. I think mm. that that this maybe. Who is third? The truth of the organization, the trust of the organization, and then you lose the customers? I think that yes. Um, first is the, the, the loss of trust in the organization, and then therefore you mm -hmm. lose customers. You lose the customers, uh -huh. Uh -huh. the customers go. Uh -huh. So, so I think that maybe four will be the loss of uh, the loss of customers and then you lose your fine you have the financial loss mm -hmm. and maybe the financial loss is the fourth mm -hmm. and the third is the loss of the customers two loss of the truth of the organization and number one casualties mm -hmm. maybe i don't know mm -hmm. The correct order. What do you think, guys? Yeah, I'm agree with Tony. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So number one will be cash with things. Number two is going to be. Let me move this. Like this, right? I think that the other way around. Okay, so I think that the explanation that you gave was perfect, Tony. Uh -huh. Like that. 
Okay. okay we have the number one casualty to financial. Mm -hmm. We lost. Um. Um. No, the the use. Mm -hmm. When I read in the information, I think that we need to change some numbers. Mm -hmm. um, casualties lost the, the truth of the organization number two. Mm -hmm. Lost customers and then financial loss. So that would be this one. Those customers, uh huh, uh huh, maybe, 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 will be mm -hmm. loss of trust and compensation, loss of customer financial loss. Yes, I think that that will be. I mean, in our opinion, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, guys. But it, it depends on the type of the of the company. Correct. Maybe maybe the casualties is not um, is not possible in 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 some um, business. Kind of, uh, business. Uh -huh. Maybe if you work with lawyers, the casualties is, is not uh, an option because mm -hmm. you work with 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 people with with clients and with the judge, judges. Judges, yes. institutional or police, politicians, um, areas of, of the government. I don't know. But maybe this this type is not possible. In in vendors and on in sales is so difficult when you have casualties. But this a uh, uh, production line. Yes. yes, in this case, this is most possible. But to have casualty, it depends on the machines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends on the type of business, right? That Okay, yes, I agree. Very good. Okay, guys, let's move. And now let's um, move to the listening time. Okay, so we're going to take the listening quiz right now. So let me send it right now here. Um, well, yes, let's take the listening quiz. And the passcode is listening, okay? Listening. All right, let me know once you are ready so I can play the recording. I'm going to play it um, three times just for you to be sure, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Okay, guys. So here we go. Here we go. Hey, Rachel, can I borrow your large suitcase? Wait, why do you need it? Okay, get this. Some friends and I are going to Hawaii next week, and my small bag won't be big enough for all the souvenirs I plan to bring home. I'm going to get you some peanuts, too. What? <laughs> How can you afford that? You don't have a job, you already have an outrageous car payment, and you still owe me $500 for that old car that didn't last a week. Hey, those things are behind me. You see, I took out a loan. Where? <laughs> I mean, to be honest, your credit history is terrible. Well, it's complicated. What do you mean complicated? Give it to me straight. Where did you get a loan? Well... I got a payday loan at a place near our house. What? That's an awful idea. Oh, you don't know anything. And you at these places, you can get a loan quickly without any hassle. Exactly, because they can run you dry. No. I mean, they might charge you over 300% interest compared to about 12 to 30% interest for regular credit cards. Nah. A personal loan at a bank might even be cheaper. Uh, yeah, but... And then people like you get locked into a vicious loan cycle that is almost impossible to escape, like quicksand. How do you know so much about payday loans? Well, I took out a loan once, and it took me forever to pay it back. So yeah, how do you plan to pay it back? 
Well, I thought I'd sell my mountain bike or my comic book collection, or you could give me the money. Yeah, forget it. Not in a million years. Ah. Okay, so here we go with the second sign. Hey, Rachel. Can I borrow your large suitcase? Wait, why do you need it? Okay, get this. Some friends and I are going to Hawaii next week, and my small bag won't be big enough for all the souvenirs I plan to bring home. I'm going to get you some peanuts, too. What? <laughs> How can you afford that? You don't have a job, you already have an outrageous car payment, and you still owe me $500 for that old car that didn't last a week. Hey, those things are behind me. You see... I took out a loan. Where? <laughs> I mean, to be honest, your credit history is terrible. Well, it's complicated. What do you mean complicated? Give it to me straight. Where did you get a loan? Well, I got a payday loan at a place near our house. What? That's an awful idea. Oh, you don't know anything. And you, at these places, you can get a loan quickly without any hassle. Exactly, because they can run you dry. No. I mean, they might charge you over 300% interest compared to about 12 to 30% interest for regular credit cards. Ah. A personal loan at a bank might even be cheaper. Ah, uh, yeah, but... And then people like you get locked into a vicious loan cycle that is almost impossible to escape, like quicksand. How do you know so much about payday loans? Well, I took out a loan once, and it took me forever to pay it back. So yeah, how do you plan to pay it back? Well, I thought I'd sell my mountain bike, or my comic book collection, or you could give me the money. Yeah, forget it. Not in a million years. Ah. Okay, the last time. Okay. Hey, Rachel. Can I borrow your large suitcase? Wait, why do you need it? Okay, get this. Some friends and I are going to Hawaii next week, and my small bag won't be big enough for all the souvenirs I plan to bring home. I'm going to get you some peanuts, too. What? <laughs> How can you afford that? You don't have a job, you already have an outrageous car payment, and you still owe me $500 for that old car that didn't last a week. Hey, those things are behind me. You see, I took out a loan. Where? <laughs> I mean, to be honest, your credit history is terrible. Well, it's complicated. What do you mean complicated? Give it to me straight. Where did you get a loan? Well, I got a payday loan at a place near our house. What? That's an awful idea. Oh, you don't know anything. And you at these places, you can get a loan quickly without any hassle. Exactly, because they can run you dry. No. I mean, they might charge you over 300% interest compared to about 12 to 30% interest for regular credit cards. Ah. A personal loan at a bank might even be cheaper. Uh, yeah, but... And then people like you get locked into a vicious loan cycle that is almost impossible to escape, like quicksand. How do you know so much about payday loans? Well, I took out a loan once, and it took me forever to pay it back. So yeah, how do you plan to pay it back? Well, I thought I'd sell my mountain bike, or my comic book collection, or you could give me the money. Yeah, forget it. Not in a million years. Ah. Okay, ready? Tell so. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. All right. So make your, your, your answers, okay? So make them. Okay. Oops. Let me see. Let me see your scores. Not. Okay. 35. Okay, I can see that some of you got 100, okay? Some of you got 80s. Okay, let me see. All right, was it difficult? Yes. Yes. 
Yes, I think that it was uh, kind of diff. Okay. Um, they mentioned this word, hassle. What is the meaning of that? It says you can get along quickly without any hassle. Any hassle. Sin mucha documentación. Algo así. Ah, sin mucha. Mm, no. Mm, could be, right? But without any hassle means sin ninguna complicación. Hassle es complicación. Hassle. Uh -huh. Without any hassle, sin ninguna complicación, okay? Hassle, okay? Sin ningún problema, sin ninguna dificultad, etc. Yes? Es como pay, pay the loan. Uh -huh. um, okay, so the meaning of pay the, pay the loan is going to be un, un préstamo. Prestamista. No, a payday loan es, es un préstamo a corto plazo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let me see. Okay. Well. Let's move guys, and right now let's focus on the um, grammar topic for today, okay? So today we're going to study something very easy for you that I'm pretty sure that some of you already know. Yeah, maybe this is going to be just um, to recall some previous knowledge that you may have. And we are going to study would rather and would prefer, yeah? So as we already know guys, would rather and would prefer, do you have an idea about this topic guys? Would rather and would prefer? Yes, it's sure. It is like choose. Very good. It's whenever we have two options or more and we need to choose, right? As it says right here, would rather is used to decide a preference when making a choice among different options. Mm -hmm. Help us reading positive structure and examples, Luis. Negative Nelly and examples as well. And questions, please, Emerson, with the correct intonation, guys. Okay, go. I will write it to my homework at noon. She will write to stay at home. We should write to pay basketball. Okay, um, rather, okay? Rather. Yes. I would rather to my homework at noon. She would rather stay at home. We should rather play basketball. Basketball. Best, uh, okay, yeah, basketball. Now. Negative subject plus will write enough plus very base form plus complement. I will write it not do my homework at noon. She will write it not stay at the home. We will write it not play basketball. Okay, thank you. Would you rather do you, your homework at noon? Would she rather stay at home? Would we rather play basketball? Okay, thank you, Emerson. All right, guys, um, would rather, okay, would rather, would rather, yeah, would, 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 would. So we have positive sentences, negative sentences, and questions, yeah? So uh, the main thing that we need to probably uh, focus on is that whenever we have would rather, the verb goes in base form, you see? I would rather do my homework at noon. So rather and the verb in base form without to, just base form. So if we say, I would rather to do my homework at noon, that would be incorrect, okay? Is I would rather plus just the verb, no to, yeah? She would rather stay at home, we would rather play basketball, 
Yeah. I would rather not do my homework at noon. She would rather not stay at home. We would rather not play basketball intonation. When it comes to questions, we should um, make the proper intonation. Would you rather do your homework at noon? Would she rather stay at home? Would we re uh, rather play basketball? Yeah. Um, in English, guys, in American English, uh, rather is going to be the pronunciation. And in British, uh, they say uh, rather. Yeah. But the, the common one is going to be rather. Rather. Okay. Um, okay. This is when it comes to rather. Would rather. And we also have the other way for us to express preference which is those two can be interchangeable, can be used interchangeably, yeah? For you to express preferences. So we have positive, negative, and questions, and this one is would prefer to. Uh, can you please help us reading positive, um, Jose? Negatives, please, Tony, and questions, please, Atilio. Let me see if Atilio is here. Well, yes. I, okay. yes. Thank you. Okay, uh, positive subject plus would prefer to plus verb plus complement. We would prefer to take the scenic route. She yes. would prefer to eat at home. I would prefer to read a book. Mm -hmm. Negative subject, negative. Subject plus would prefer not to plus verb plus complement. We would prefer not to take the scenic road. Mm -hmm. She will prefer not to eat at home. I will prefer not to read a book. Very good. Would we prefer to take the essence route? Mm -hmm. Would she prefer to eat at home? Mm -hmm. Would I prefer to read? A book. A book. Right. Uh, uh, Tony. Richard. Yes. Uh, I don't know, but I feel that when I use will, per, will prefer, mm -hmm. um, I feel that I'm talking like robotic, robo, robotizado, ro, ro, like a robot. I don't know why, but I think that it's so golpeado. Pero, pero no entiendo por qué. O es por, I don't know. It may be. Mm, well, for example, if, I mean, if you say, I would prefer to drink coffee. Mm, no, no, I don't know. Um, I feel that this, like, like uh, uh, yes, like a road. I, I think that this, or, or maybe I, I don't, I, I never use this, this, this combination, mm. and I, I feel so wired with, with the use. Maybe this is the, the reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that maybe it's because you haven't used it, right? Probably because of that. Have you used this one? Would rather? No. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's because um we haven't used them, right? So that's why. But they both are really, really useful uh -huh, whenever we are talking about preferences. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because probably the common way that we say is I choose this one or I choose coffee, I choose the other one, right? But no, we have uh, more structures for us to, to express the same idea and would rather or would prefer to, right? It depends on the idea. So now let's see, uh, it says, let's rewrite the sentences using would rather. Okay, so we have, I prefer to stay home tonight than go out. Which one would be the sentence with would rather?
I would rather stay. I would rather stay home tonight than go out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about she wants to go to the beach instead of the mountains? She would rather. You would rather go, go to, to the, the beach, beach instead of the mountains. Of the mountains. Mm -hmm. Very good. They choose to have pizza for dinner. They would rather have pizza for dinner. Very good. We like to watch a movie at home. We would rather watch a movie. At home. Movie at home. Uh -huh. And he prefers to take the bus instead of driving. She would rather take the bus instead of driving. Yes, okay. Yeah, he, he would rather. So you see, I mean, those are the ideas, but in other words, but we can use the same idea with would rather. And the, um, the complement two, we need to eliminate. Yes, you can eliminate it or you can leave it. I mean, it's... maybe it is uh, when I say, uh, I will rather to stay, it's correct too. No, 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 we'll rather is just like this. We don't have to. Uh -huh, uh -huh. No, okay, no. Okay. The the word to um, we need to eliminate. Okay, that is correct. Okay, so mm -hmm. and with with would prefer yes. Okay, would prefer to. So we also have the exercise. Let's rewrite the sentences using would prefer. It. She wants to study alone rather than in a group. She will prefer to stay alone that in a group. Exactly. We choose to have the meeting in the morning. We will prefer to have the meeting in the morning. Correct. They like to travel by train instead of by plane. They will prefer to travel by train instead of by plane. Excellent. And he prefers to work from home if possible. He would prefer to work from home if possible. Yes. And I like to eat at a restaurant tonight. I will prefer to eat uh, at a restaurant tonight. Correct. So you see, I mean, those are for you to express preferences, right? Which one is would rather and the other one is would prefer to? In general, mm -hmm. are the same t-shirt. Yes, the they are the same. same. The same, the same thing. Okay. In, in this case, it's, um, it's correct to say um, she would prefer eating at home. She would prefer eating at home. Yes. Um, actually, prefer it, it could be followed by two and the ing, but the most common one is two. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. But yes. Okay, guys. Um, very good. So let's see. We have um the speaking time, but first the grammar quiz. Okay, we are going to take the grammar quiz based on this, on this short topic that we have covered. Yeah, so remember, well, you can take the, the quiz with the class open if you have it, right? So would rather is just the verb in base form like this, never to, never, never. Would prefer to, yes. Would prefer to, would prefer to, yeah. So let's, but the verb in this time is not in the basic form. Um, yes, it is in base form. Uh, we prefer, we will prefer to. Mm -hmm. look at, yeah. Take a look at this. 
Take uh, because it in the in the in the previous slide you write in base form verb in base form. Um, mm -hmm. and but this one in, in this one too. Correct. Okay. Okay. In the verb verb in the base form. Okay. In the base form. Okay. okay. Perfect. Okay. Let's take that short quiz. Okay. The passcode is grammar. Okay, the ones that already finished, I'm going to move you to different breakout rooms, okay, so you can start practicing. Let's see. Okay. Now we...
teacher for understand better, would rather, and mm -hmm. would prefer to is the same. Yo preferiría. Sí, it's the same. two ways to say the, 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 the same idea. Correct. With different structure. Uh -huh. The different with, with prefer to is that you need to add the, the word to with prefer. Oh, it, 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 um, in other words, prefer and to always be together. Correct, always. Prefer and to is, is together. But yes. when, when we use would rather, the rather is not necessary or, or not needed the, the, the word to. Correct. Okay. And mm -hmm. the verb is in the basic form, always. Correct. When I use the, the same example, when I use the, the, um, the auxiliars, when you use did, you don't use the uh, verb in another form than the basic form. Correct. Okay. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yes. Thanks. Perfect. Kenya Maris. Kenya Maris. Let me see. Daisy. Daisy Elizabeth. Present. Eh, Daisy, le quiero hacer una pregunta. ¿Tiene, tiene, ¿Tiene problemas con la plataforma? Sí, fíjese que reporté y... Ok. Y ahí estoy. Ok, lo reportó y, y no, no le han solventado. Uh, a hoy no he probado, pero sí este el viernes todavía no pude entrar. Ok. Um, ok. Um, ¿tendrá, ¿Tendrá el nombre de qui a quién le reportó, Daisy? Deje ver, por favor. Deme un segundito. Ok. Uh, let me see. Tatiana. No, Tatiana is not here. Jonathan? Let's see. Okay, Atilio. Fíjese que no tengo a la mano a quien le reporté, pero sí fue a través de un chat de, de WhatsApp. Ok. Y lo reportó hace bastante, supongo yo. Sí, lo que pasa es que... No sé, no, no me gustó la respuesta, entonces no, ya no, ya no insistí. Ok, bye. Voy a, voy a verificar eso porque me, me, me mandaron la lista de las personas que no han eh, trabajado en la plataforma y quería saber por qué no lo había hecho. Sí, Pero, yo sí, yo por eso, porque tuve problemas y lo reporté y no me solucionaron. Y ya hoy ya no probé, pues, porque. Ok, okay. Muy bueno. Ok, vale. Thank you. Gracias, teacher. Okay. Feliz noche. Ok, thank Bye. you. Bye. Ok. Um, Jonathan, are you here? No me deja ingresar. ¿Qué le sale, Wendy? No me deja ingresar, teacher. Siempre me bloquea. ¿Pero qué le dice? ¿Qué le sale? Eh, cuando doy el password para poder el pin. No, uh -huh. no, me, no, me, no me da la opción. Sale en blanco de nuevo todo. Uh -huh. Solo pongo mi nombre y de ahí ya desaparece otra vez. Quizás es el navegador. 
pueda hacer. Uh -huh. Ok, ok, Wendy. Eh, Tatiana, are you here? Yeah, me... Tatiana, eh, ¿ha tenido problemas con la plataforma? Sí, hace poco me la activaron porque no me la habían activado. Uh -huh. Incluso la primera clase con usted no la tuve porque no, no, no nos mandaron invitación con Daisy. Ok, ok. Pero bueno, ya mucho. estoy trabajando en ella. Ok, thank you. Thank you, Tatiana. Um, ok. Um, because I, I think I don't have so much things to list. I prefer to, to someone cook a delicious food because my cook is so basic. I think. Okay. Would you rather? live in a world without technology or a world without art? <laughs> uh, I think that both things are very important, but in my case, because I have family in other countries, um, I would rather live in a world without art. Me too. Uh, uh, is, yes, both are, are very important, because, but in in the in the actually, uh, I think I would rather live in a world without uh, art. But, it's, but the art is, is very important. Roberto? Yes? Um, instead of saying in the actually, we can say currently. Mm -hmm. oh, currently, oh, okay. Yeah, currently, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And you Robert. only mean secure that I, I'm sure that you need a personal assistant to fight. Yes, to fight and teach, teach her to cook. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> to fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you need people to travel and fight, you need personal assistant to fight. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, the same thing. I, I would prefer a personal chef. <laughs> um, because my 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 expertise to cook is only with meats I'm, I'm and good. another type of food i prefer uh different options and it's so so entertaining to learn with the chef okay would you I'm rather good. live I'm in a bar coffee and uh, sweet blood <laughs> this is the most easy uh, receipt. Coffee and sweet bread, or coffee and donuts. Would yes, you rather sir. live in a world with without technology or a world without art? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Technology, technology is technology art. versus versus art. Um, um in other words, I think I prefer without art. Because we need technology for many tax. With technology and IE, you can create art. Yes. The, the, actually, for me, the technology is art. Yeah. 
AI, 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 IG. No, AI. Uh, AI. AI. AI, artificial intelligence, yeah. exactly. And um, I think that is a good way to, to take both. I prefer the technology. It's, it's clear for me, but for you, Carla? Same. I think the technology, it's... I don't know it's more important, but the maybe the it's more este, essentially uh -huh, essentially mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you Atilio and you Emerson what do you mm -hmm. think about in my case my case I'm uh, good with what technology more art we are technician people yes Okay, and you, Emerson? I think it's the most important technology. Okay. Because okay. with will be to create the IRG and artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. and with it, help create art. Okay, we can live without arts. Okay, it's so difficult, but maybe it's true. No, it's difficult with, with, because all when somebody create art, they need tools. If for create tools, you need a machine. You need... But the, the art is um, a potential form to create technology too. The, we, the, the artists can receive the inspiration from the nature or for different ways and then create and in this process hello carlos omar and wendy are you here hello teacher hello okay so let's see guys would you rather spend a year traveling the world or a building your own business? Which one would you rather? No lo entiendo, teacher. Wendy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wendy, okay. Eh, estaba aquí cuando expliqué el tema. No, teacher. Carlos. Tampoco, Carlos. He's not here. Bien. Eh, Wendy, um, estábamos explicando el tema. Would rather and would prefer. <coughs> Okay, so would rather and would prefer. Okay, in this case, um, no, no, le escuchamos, Carlos. Okay, would rather and would prefer son para eh, expresar preferencias, para decir yo prefiero esto que lo otro. Sí, entonces. Aquí, Wendy, si usted se fija, tenemos I would rather do my homework at lunch. Yo prefiero hacer mi tarea en la tarde. Preferencias. ¿Sí? I would rather. Uh -huh. Entonces, negativa es I would rather not do my homework at noon. Le ponemos el not. Uh -huh. Okay. And, eh, lo importante es que el verbo va en su forma base mire, fíjese bien sí, va en su forma presente mire. ¿Sí? y las preguntas would you rather do your homework at lunch entonces estas preguntas que estamos estudiando en este momento de speaking son relacionadas al tema que vimos 
Entonces, eh, también tenemos el would prefer to, que significa también yo prefiero hacer tal cosa que lo otro. Y tenemos we would prefer to take the scenic route. Yo, o bueno, nosotros preferimos tomar la ruta panorámica. ¿Ya? Entonces, Wendy, en este caso que estamos practicando con eh, esta, esta misma estructura, si yo le pregunto a usted en este momento, would you rather spend a year traveling the world or building your own house? Uh -huh. I would rather spend... Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Qué preferiría? Would you rather spend a year traveling the world or building your own house? Um, would, you, would you want to sites? Oh, building my own business. Ah, building a your business. Okay, building. Building. My own my own business business otra vez uh, building my own business building to own business my own business my own business okay okay mm -hmm. all right and let's see um Would you rather go on a road trip with friends or travel alone? Um, okay. I travel alone. Travel alone? Yes. Okay. And would you rather have a personal chef or a personal assistant? Uh, uh, would, would you rather? Have a personal chef. Personal chef? Okay. Okay. And would you rather live in a world without technology or a world without art? Uh, would you rather? I would I rather. Would you rather? I, I, in I would rather. I would rather. I would you rather. No, I would rather would Wendy, escúchame. I I would would rather rather live live, live in our with how technology. Very good, okay? Ya ve que puede. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I would rather, Carlos Omar, sin el tú. Recuerde que la estructura es sin el tú. I would rather go. I would rather have, muy bien, a personal assistant, okay? I think that yes, me too. I would rather have a personal assistant. Me too. Yes. Okay, let's go to the main room, okay? Vámonos a la sala principal, yes? Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, um, let's wait for the other ones to join, guys. Let's wait for the other ones to join. We have a lot of dancers, supermans, and multi-language understand, understanding people. Really? 
<laughs> we try to find Nemo. Oh my <laughs> God, okay, guys. <laughs> a good writer be a singer, even if a dancer like a cocolito. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Um, guys, would you rather have a personal chef or a personal assistant and why? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, well, Carla Sofia, which one would you rather? I prefer to personal assistant uh, because I need to help for in my job. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I think that you need more hours in the day. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yes, Carlos Omar, I, I actually passed it, but don't worry, okay? I, I saw that you were there. Okay, thank you. All right, and okay, guys, would you rather be an excellent singer or a masterful dancer? Mm-hmm. Which one would you rather, Atilio? I could rather be a singer. An excellent singer. Yes. Okay. I mean, if dancing like a cucolito. Ah, okay. You were talking about that one. Okay. <laughs> Not. Right. No. No. Okay. All right. And guys, the last question I have, would you prefer to work independently or as part of a team? Which one would you prefer? In the, to work independently or as part of a team? And why? I think that that is better um, work as a part of a team because uh, if you think that one had think good, two or more had think better, mm -hmm. and you share your knowledge and yes. your experiences is so powerful to uh, make a great ideas and to work in this. To, to a project or, or, or develop a different solutions um, is most use, useful usually um, the team works in, in, in sales uh, business. I think that is the best way to, to perform as the, the results or the, the, the goals. Okay. All right. Yes, you have a good point there. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, thank you, Tony. Uh, Roberto de Saúl, are you there? Yes, you sure. Okay. Please stay with me, all right? Then, guys, the other one, okay. thank you very much for connecting today. Just a friendly reminder, guys, work on the platform, please. Okay? If you have issues with the platform, let me know. Okay, let me know. Then, uh, if you don't have any question, I'll see you back tomorrow. Thank you very much for being responsible and connecting today. Have a good night, guys. Take care. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys. Good night. Good night. Um, okay, Roberto, this is going to be a short uh, feedback okay, that we are going to have. Um, well, this is the first time that we're having feedback together. Then, Roberto, I would like to know about you. I would like to know why are you studying English, right? Uh, which one is the most difficult area that you consider that um, we have in the English language? And I would like to know your feedback about our classes, right? How do you feel with the team? How do you feel with our classes? How do you feel with the dynamic of the class? If you have some observations, right? If you have any question related to a topic, all of those things that you would like to share with me are welcome, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, 
Yes, yes. So in the first, first of all, uh, I am studying English because uh, actually I I am I am working in a, in a in a call center, but in like in Spanish, right? Mm -hmm. And I would like to to extend my my, my knowledge like a, like a professional, right? Yes. I I know that that they learn English uh, open a lot of doors right yes. uh, in the in the professional in a professional career mm -hmm. uh, actually i am studying a uh, marketing international in, in the university mm -hmm. so in my career it is so necessary uh, yes. like i in, in a lot of careers yes. so uh, for the reason okay. uh, uh, with my uh, the english yes the, the, the other question was uh, the most difficult area that you find okay the most difficult maybe is uh catch what uh, the listening the listening at the maybe the, the fluency okay. because when i i am for example in in my free time uh, i mm. i like to, to watch uh, movies Mm -hmm. But in English, in English with subtitles in, in English too. Subtitles. So to learn subtitles in English, uh, it helps a lot. But sometimes uh, it's difficult to catch what, what the, the, the people say, for example. Mm -hmm. And so the, the listening for me is, is a little difficult. Mm -hmm. And the, the fluency in, uh, is very important. In, I usually travar, so I travar. I usually stumble, stumble. Stumble in occasions. Yes, it's so, so difficult, mm -hmm. so difficult. Uh, okay, and have you studied with us all of the modules or do you have previous knowledge? Uh, if I am studying, in the, in yeah, if you if you started with us or did you start with us in module um, five or module four or did you start from the very beginning? No, no, I actually is this is my 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 first module with, with you. Oh, really? Yes, yes. That's my first good. module. Okay. Yes, I I mean. I've been uh, studying, but uh, in all in another place. Uh, in another place, right? Yes. Okay. Place. All right, and okay. So let me ask you: How have you seen our our classes, right? Because um, even though you haven't studied with us before, but I would like to know how how do you feel with our classes, right? How do you feel with the dynamic of our class? I think that is very, is very uh, interesting the, the class because I I been in an, in other class before in a, in a in other uh, uh, areas in other places, but is is not the same, it's not the same mm -hmm. because uh, I I prefer to be honest. I prefer presential presential because. Okay because in some cases you you practice more yes but in this time i feel uh, comfortable okay because uh, there are many dynamics dynamic mm -hmm. speaking time uh, listening time uh, where you can practice with, uh, with other people and i I like this, this dynamic of the of the class actually. Yeah, perfect. Yes. Well, Roberto, um, I think that you have your your main goal, right, to learn the language. And as you said before, uh, maybe it's because of your studies, and of course, you want to probably get a better job opportunity, right, in the future. And I'm pretty sure that you are going to achieve it. Um, one of the main th the main things that I would like to mention is that I do like that you participate when, when you are in the class, you participate. So I think that that is really nice 
because I saw that you participated from the very beginning of our classes, right? From the first class. Yes. So, yes, I think that that is really good because I can see that you have the desire of learning even more, right? And, you know, whenever you are learning a new language, I'm pretty sure that as you said before, sometimes it's better classroom classes. But if you find um, our classes that are kind of dynamic, right, that you feel comfortable, I think that that is something good as well because you are practicing and you are maybe improving yeah. your fluency, your vocabulary, maybe there are some new words for you, right? As you can see, maybe this module is related to risk and hazards, right? Uh, it's related to different um, things about a company. So I really like that you participate whenever you have the opportunity to, you do it, okay? So keep okay. doing it. Uh, we still have around nine classes because we are going to fin finish till uh, next week on the 16th, right? So we still have a couple of days for you to practice. I didn't see you on, on, on Friday, I think. Yes, I, I can't, I couldn't say here this because in, in my job, uh, Actually, the, the Thursday and the Friday, I couldn't uh, yes, present couldn't in the class. Yes, yes because uh, in my job, change uh, those days, mm -hmm. change the, 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 the schedule. The schedule. But uh, now I am, uh, uh, from now, I am, I am not problem. You don't have problems, okay. No, yes. Okay. All right, perfect. Yeah, because I uh, remember that the, the attendance is very important, right? And um, let me ask you, have you had any issues with the platform? No, actually no. I, oh, only an uh, observation. Oh, For yes. example, uh, in the section three, maybe mm -hmm. in the section three, all the videos, all the videos are the same. Or all, all the videos, uh -huh. for example, uh, where uh, appear a man uh, and he talk uh, of uh, a conversation. He, he put a conversation in the in the in the video. All the video are the, are the same. Are I the don't same. know if uh, I am the only one. I have the problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, Roberto. So this type of feedback, I will really appreciate you send it to the WhatsApp group because the team that is in charge of the platform is the one that um, actually needs to, to make that correction, right? I'm going to report it, but I will really appreciate if you send um, a message or a screenshot, right? And say, hey, uh, the this section has the same video. So I don't know if it's only me or, or or what, right? So they can see that you are having that issue because yeah, you are the first person that actually report that, right? Yes. Uh -huh. So I really appreciate that you are doing it because in that way we are going to fix it, right? So can I send it in the in the May group? Yes, the May yes, group. yes. Okay. And I will I will support your 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 screenshot. Okay. So okay. send it and I will reply back. So um, then I really appreciate that you are always paying attention and that you are focused on the class. I think that, that is something good as well, okay? Um, and what else? Well, I think that, do you have any question about uh, the topic or something that is not clear? No, this is topics, no. Uh, only, only if uh, I would like uh, advice to to improve my my fluency, I don't know watch movie or, or uh, listen a music. I don't know what you consider that it can help me with listening and fluency. Yes. Um. Okay. Well, you know, we all have different type of maybe learning styles, right? Let me ask you. Um. How do you think is the easiest way for you to learn? I mean, what do you like? Do you like to watch videos? Do you like to sing? Do you like to probably just read? Do you like to um, maybe write? Or what do you like? Uh, especially, I like to uh, watch uh, videos. For example, if, but videos in, in YouTube, for example, a, a YouTuber uh, in, in English, maybe I think that it, it helped me because uh, I, I learn and I enjoy the, the videos and I, I know like a like a, a borrow, right? You you don't it's get no, bored. Uh-huh, uh -huh, yes. Now let me ask you, 
one okay whenever you you watch the video after that what do you do with the knowledge uh, the knowledge i try the the words that i i don't know mm -hmm. i try to to write down in a in a book and after i i i, I look for for the the meaning mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to recommend now that you mentioned that is the following, okay? So what you can do, Roberto, is, okay, so you watch the videos on YouTube, right, about uh, your YouTubers, right, or different type of videos in English. Now, what you need to do is to retell what you have seen. I mean, to nobody, to yourself, right? Okay, so what did I learn on this video? Okay, so I saw this YouTuber explaining this and that. So he went to blah, 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 and then he did that. And then you need to retell what you are seeing. Because, I mean, you can watch a lot of videos, but if you do not share that information, but speaking, right? I mean, you can get some words, but that won't be the correct way for you to learn so i mm -hmm. would recommend that you retell what you see like a summary correct like a summary of what you are seeing and in that way you will see that you are going to start like saying and how do you how do i say this i don't know how to say this and you are going to challenge yourself and you are going to look for words and phrases and in that way next time you are going to remember that phrase that you used and of course you are going to get fluency because you are using a vocabulary that is common right because yes. for you to explain a video you need to use common phrases common vocabulary so next time that somebody asks you about something you are going to remember about that type of vocabulary and you are going to be able to explain an answer and you are going to feel comfortable because you are practicing to retell what you saw on one of the video right and i can also uh, maybe advise that you can uh, watch videos not only about youtubers right watch videos about motivation and then retell yourself what you have seen on that video okay so this video is about motivation that i need to keep going every single day despite any type of difficulties and you start right so you are going to start like getting vocabulary and of course fluency because you are going to get the vocabulary so you are not going to like keep you know stumbling right with your own um maybe ideas that you would like to express what i have noticed um maybe in your pronunciation is that uh, sometimes you need to think roberto when, when you are speaking you need to think about the pronunciation right i mean okay. yeah because sometimes i have noticed that you speak i mean you have fluency but um there are some words that are mispronounced right oh. and that you probably you realize that you mispronounce those words but you didn't correct yourself you need to go if you make a mistake and you realize okay so i said for example i said play it right but i know and i realize that at the moment that i'm speaking i say play it but i'm going to go back sorry play it. you need to correct okay. yourself okay you need to okay. correct yourself and um that that would be like the the um the advice that i can give you because that would work for you because you love to watch videos but what do you do with that knowledge right you need to okay. retell it yeah okay okay thank you okay. thank you perfect so do you have any other question no uh, no only that yes yes okay. all right roberto so i think that um that's pretty much for today okay so if you have any question just let me know i hope that works try it at least three times during the week try it and let's see if you improve okay okay thank you so much teacher. all right so i <laughs> hope you have a good night see you tomorrow see, see you tomorrow good night yeah good night <laughs>